Bia visited the world site. We are often the result of eight-year activity of the Rasta company. It is a patented device for precision sewing. This unit is designed for sewing such crops as onion bulbs, <coughs> garlic cloves, flower bulbs, stones of fruit trees, acorns, and other crops proportional with them. The sewing unit consists of feeding hopper. It is mounted above the outer cylinder and has its outlet opening. Inside this cylinder there is a distributive cone mounted coaxially to the drive shaft. There is a feeding <coughs> a cylinder above the distributive cone. The cylinder is installed eccentrically to a cone axis. It is equipped with a flexible tube, its flexibility being reduced to the area of sewing material discharge. A sewing material leveler, this one, is mounted in the area of the outlet opening. It is a plate-like double arm lever with vertical axis of rotation. This device is installed in the back side of the outlet opening and is supplied with a push-off <coughs> behind it. The sewing material lever uh, is equipped with a vibratory drive mechanism. The distributive cone has <coughs> three areas. First, this one, the area of sewing material discharged from the feeding cylinder. The second area, this one, it is the area of even spreading of sewing material on the surface of the distributive cone. And the third one, it is the area of sewing material leveling in one row and pushing it to the seed through the opening outlet. The vibratory drive has the following adjustment. Mm. The adjustment of the clearance between the leveler plate and the outer cylinder. The second uh, is the adjustment of the, of the leveler plate height above the uh, distributive cone. The third, the adjustment of vibration force of the leveler. And the fourth one. It is the adjustment of oscillation amplitude of the level. This one. Also, also there is the adjustment of the outlet opening width by means of the choke, as well as the clearance size between the flexible tube and the distributive cone. The setting adjustments of the sewing unit should be done before planting. The clearance size between flexible tube and the distributive cone is set in accordance with the sewing material size. The clearance between the, uh, the leveler and outer cylinder is set is set in accordance with the sewing material size. The sewing unit operates in the following way. Uh, the sewing material is loaded into the hopper and the distributive cone and the distributive cone is driven. As it was mentioned above, the feeding cylinder is equipped with a flexible tube, its flexibility being reduced to the area of sewing material discharge, and it is a stop eccentrically to a cone axis. In this case, during the distributive cone rotation, sewing material gets to its surface on the area located after outlet opening here. It increases the time and sewing material distribution on the cone. That results to more uniform distribution of sewing material on the cone surface while passing towards the area of interaction with the leveler and push off. Here one row of sewing material flow is cut off with a vibrating clinch of the leveler. Then it's fed to the area of a push-off action through the outlet opening 
where sewn material is discharged into the seed tube. Thus, the formation of sewing material flow of uniform density with its free delivery to the outlet opening doesn't depend upon the delivery volume as well as the sewing material size on all stages of sewing process. Now we are going to demonstrate the operation of the sewing union. As an example, we take garlic cloths. Sewing material is being loaded into the feeding hopper and the sewing unit and the sewing unit and now let's consider how the unit operates while sewing bulbs of onion. Pay attention that it's for its shape is round. we take bulbs of onion, the sort is Bamberger. Pay attention, its shape index is more than 1.5. Uh, that means that bulb shape is long, not round. Please contact us. The contact phone numbers you can find on our website.